The two pillars of math identity are the belief that you can do math and the belief that you belong. There was a really interesting study done across hundreds of students and they were all given feedback on a test and randomly selected in some of the feedback was a sentence that said, I'm giving you this feedback because I believe in you. A year later, the difference between the achievement rates of the students who got that sentence and didn't get that sentence was extraordinary. Girls' math identity is about girls' belief and dispositions and attitudes to their own abilities in mathematics, and that really affects later decisions about education and careers. It's not as if any of us intentionally give the wrong message to children, nor do we intentionally want them not to do well. But it's like almost seamless in a child's life from the time they're born until they make decisions about what they're going to do with their life that these messages are coming in all the time. And it takes, therefore, a conscious, explicit effort to counteract them. We need to change the messages that they receive about who belongs. We need to change the messages that they receive about innate abilities. We need to really change the way math is taught. We need to have inquiry-based mathematics, not functional mathematics. And we need to start very early. A network improvement community, also known as a NIC, is an intentional network. It's really about setting up connections between researchers and practitioners to make change and to help solve the problem of girls not having a strong math identity. We have made improvements, there's no doubt about that, but there are still some very strong messages being given to girls. And if you listen to them talk about it, you can see that that's not how they think it should be, but it's how it is. And while it'll take a long time to change all the schools of education, it doesn't mean that people can't start. And um, small projects, one teacher in one school, can really make a big difference.